Hi, this game is called A Good Day and is developed using Godot Engine, but not the official build. Over the few months of development, we had to add quite a few features to the Godot source code. And I'm now fully convinced that if you're really serious about making a game in Godot, you should try to compile the engine yourself. Here's why. This first example probably already happened to you. You're using a Godot node and you just wish there was a little more information in the API. And this can get really frustrating. You know that they probably use this information internally, but you cannot get it from GDScript. And if you want to get it by another way, it will mean a lot of code. In the real case that I'm showing, I wanted to retrieve the position of a touch when using a touch screen button. And in that case, it was literally changing two lines of code to retrieve this information. My second argument is more obvious, but by compiling Godot yourself, you get bug fixes before everyone else. Sometimes bug fixes are really simple. Like in that case, the two lines here were lacking in Godot 3.4. You still have to wait sometimes weeks or months to get the next table release with this fix. By compiling Godot yourself, you get them immediately. Once you compile Godot, you can also, of course, write your own game code in C++, unlocking crazy optimization. For example, for loops in C++ can run hundreds of times faster than for loops in GDScript. Another argument for it is that it's not even that complicated. Methods that you call on a node are the same in C++ and GDScript, so you just have to do a little bit of translation. I recommend going line by line and just translating your GDScript code into C++ and uh, the compiler will take care of the rest. But wait, what if I'm running my custom Godot build and a new super awesome official release is out? Can I get its super awesome features while also keeping mine? Yes, you can. You just need good Git management. You'll want to have your features in a branch on top of the last official version. And when a new one comes out, you just rebase your branch on top of the new tag and you'll have all your custom features plus the new official ones. Of course, if your custom features depend on official code that has changed between versions, you will have to make adjustments. So now let's get into really exciting stuff. By compiling your own Godot, you can add features that are not on the stable branch. This can be for a few reasons. Uh, of course, this can be because the PR is not of a good quality and is not judged acceptable. And when you compile your own Godot, you will have to judge if the PR is of good quality. But it can also simply be because the feature is not uh, a priority for the Godot team. Of course, it can still be a priority for your game. This particular feature is pretty awesome. It's a way to filter which canvas item will be displayed in each of your viewports. This makes some visual effects very easy, like this uh, reflect effect. In our game, we use it to get these cool effects where a character is behind a wall, but we can still see him or her uh, in this orange hue. This is uh, an effect that is quite easy to get in 3D, but not so easy in 2D, uh, especially when there's transparency and lights involved. We will probably make a video about this effect and our 3D effects, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is with this feature to just set these sprites on a special layer and then I can select in the main viewport which layers are rendered. So here is the with the layer one and with the layer two, the same game is rendered differently. And this render will be the basis of our transparency effect. Once you compile your own Godot, you will be able to put in features from the community from one of the hundreds of PRs that exist and you will probably find features that will be awesome in your game. Talking about community, you will also be able to contribute to Godot. 
In this PR, I adapted the previous canvas scaling feature that I showed for Godot 4. Just imagine how great Godot can become with your contributions. Finally, the source code is the ultimate documentation. I find that when I don't understand something from the documentation alone, I can just read the source code to get how it really works. Even though it's scary, I really recommend you to try and compile Godot. It seems like a huge step to make, but you will not regret it. It has brought us so much in the development of our game, and I leave you once again with all the reasons why you should compile your own Godot. Tell us what you think, and see you next time!